let's cover some foundational moves using the long box and the extended platform. I've got one blue spring, and this can be done so many different ways. As you'll notice in a lot of the uh, flows, I give you such an option for creativity. Now, as I mentioned in uh, the strength flow sitting on the platform, you can link these together. So I want to make sure when we're learning different flows that we're not overwhelming ourselves or if we're taking these into our students that we're not overwhelming our students. There is multiple add-ons. You can keep going and going and going. But I, what I want from you to learn today in this foundational movement is how you can use this and look at some other flows and see how you can like link them together. So let's get started. Pushing the carriage out and step in. Now, I will tell you that some of my students will want to plat pad the platform. I use the, uh, the chair pad for the Pilates chair, but I definitely, because I, this can, uh, upholstery can slide, always put a grippy underneath. If you're on the shorter reformers, this is the 18 inch, so the shorter you're gonna be a little bit lower, you may need to prop your hips up with a little bit of a pad. Whatever is comfortable, just find something that feels appropriate for your limb position and your torso length. So we're going to start with hip flexion. Then we're going to do spine flexion. So this is basically taking a chair exercise and translating it from facing down. Like um, I think it's washer woman is the exercise. I don't really call them by the names, but I think that's what it is. So it's taking that facing down and then now doing it in a sitting position. So I'm gonna first just open and close the carriage with hip flexion. Still following the guidelines of abdominal engagement, axial elongation. So instead of my chest going to the floor, I'm thinking about my skull reaching up. Now we're gonna anchor the hips and we're gonna do lumbar flexion. Always feel that dominoes pull in and up. So if you think about round, round back, flat back, first one was flat back, this one is round back, last one. Really trying to prevent a hunching or rounding in the upper body. Place one hand on the center of the box. The other hand can be either here or if you need extra support, you can put it down on and then just push and twist making sure that when you twist you're spiraling up through your skull i always think about my ear traveling around following that da vinci circle forward and switch Then we're gonna go and bring ourselves down into that flexed hipped position and just do some arm presses. Even though we're in a flat back, I'm still really focusing on abs, on the press. And then come in, one hand to center, and bend and press and twist. Staying flexed at the hips. Your hand position, whether it's turned slightly or down, is up to you, whatever feels good. And again, spiral your skull at an angle up. Sit up tall, switch, and press. Couple more. And bring it in. Hands aside, thumbs face up, and presses out. Now this is where we're gonna transition from the sitting position to the standing position. We're gonna finish one more press. Bring it in, hands on, press out, stand up. 
So you're gonna now have a slight angle on your body, reach your hips back and then come back up. And you can always take your hands forward more if you want. Just make sure that your hips reach back, knees are soft. So we're basically doing flat back and then we'll do round back. But make sure that there is a slight angle forward at the body. Otherwise, the spring is gonna push you back. Now we're gonna go into round back. And then up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna transition right into the box, and then we're gonna go right into pulling straps. Now there is so much you can do here. You know all the pulling straps, so I don't need to do all of them. So you're gonna go into pulling in straps, then you're gonna go ahead and lower the feet down, bring yourself back, and right into some knee tucks. Some arm presses. And then I'm gonna end that there, leaving it up to you to add some more onto that. So remember, when you're starting a flow on here, you can take the box off and then go into some strength, which if you watch the video before this one, the extended platform strength flow, you can start there and then go into the strength if you're not going to have the box on because you uh if you want to take the box off sorry or you can go and you can go up to some of the exercises i just did so play around some different choreography you'll see in a future video where i start sitting doing some arm work then i end up standing doing some flexibility and standing work uh for, for hips and legs. Thanks for watching.